best rebounding teams in the league. Taking a look at Chicago. Such a solid presence inside. Tough to handle. Well, Kevin, you and I have talked about it time and time again. We Rebounding is what wins games, and this team has been outstanding on the boards. That's why they've led the league in rebounding and also have put together a good record as well. Bobcats making a switch here. Here is Duff. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at Chicago, best team in the conference, really having a nice season, looking to maintain that through the playoffs. And, of course, the Bobcats, just way behind. Kevin, yeah, it's hard to put a finger on it, but anytime you're struggling, you lose confidence. And guys are walking around with their chin in their chest. Nobody is enthusiastic. Things go against them, and one bad play leads to two, two lead to four, and it just perpetuates. Oh! They've been unstoppable. What a strong start. And here's Charlotte. Will it go? And in there for two as he lays it up and in. High speed inside. Sets his teammate up for the easy deuce. Great. Here's Rose. Right around six minutes left in the first quarter. He dumps it off. Here's the beast. Hangs and hits. 17 points in the game. They're really doing a nice job, a really good job of getting everything they want in this quarter. Just good, solid basketball. He's covered by Dan. That lead the pass to Mint. Here's Douglas. Thomas is whistle for the loose ball foul. That's his first foul. Spencer Hawes has checked in for Chicago. Spencer Hawes. Here's Chicago, leading by 12. Outside Boozer. Fires from the elbow, and the Bulls tack on two more. Well, in this quarter, they haven't done a good job of defending the shots. And so here is Charlotte. It's a 14-point game. Charlotte calls timeout. <laughs> on defense, Chicago. Maine. No good on the quick shot. And Chicago turns it over. And the Bobcats have it. They trail by 14. Back to Thomas. Douglas for three. Kept alive. And another shot. Thomas's shot is off. You can't D up a layup any better than that. Nice work. Rose with the ball. Here's Dang. No luck on the three point attempt. Here is Dub. Tipped. Good anticipation for the steal. It's vertical. Throws it down. This is how they built an early lead. A relentless and punishing inside game. And so here is Charlotte. Just over four minutes left in the first. Douglas for three. Scooped up. And then Thomas with the dunk. Five. He is so tenacious on the board. How many times have we seen putbacks like that from him? He can clear out the paint like very few others can. You know what you might call him, Kevin? Mm. A rebounding virtuoso. Yeah, I like that. That's right. Here's the beast, defended by Douglas. Here's the beast, and finished up with a nice lead. He's got 23. Well, he's really been big for their team, finding a way to consistently get it done on the scoreboard. Oh. 
his last outing, 16 points for him. The three from Dudley, rebounded by Rhodes. He hasn't been able to get on track here. Here's Hawes, and he slams that one in. He has almost supernatural bouncing ability. He can bounce right out of the building. <laughs> Only a handful of players have that kind of athleticism, Clark. Thomas against Boozer. Outside Thomas. Just three to shoot. Here's May. Nice fake up and under. Speed is only part of the equation here. He's not blinding quick, but he was determined to take that one to the rim. Here's the beast. And he just worked New York in that last game. Team's making some changes here. Here's the beast. 23 points in the game. The three, and that one's good. 26 points for him. Boy, this is fun to watch. This guy is putting on a show right now. He's making it look really easy. Here's Welch. No good on the buzzer beater. And we finish the first quarter of play. Two different looking teams in this one. It's the Bulls up 19. Kevin, their offense has been flowing right from the get-go. It's been fun to watch. And we'll return momentarily. <laughs> 